right, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, I'm back with another video. We're on the run up to Christmas. So can I say to you, I'm going to wish you from now a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'm wishing it from now because I'm so busy, guys, really. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. It better be before Christmas, it will be. <laughs> yeah. And over the Christmas period, I'm going to be smashed. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas day and holidays and um, all your dreams and wishes come true for the new year. Yeah, and remember, everything you do, God is in it, you understand? And you must give thanks, yeah, give thanks. So, you can tell by the title of the video. Oh, before I go any further, please like, share, subscribe the video. Please, a little thumbs up, you know that is a big thing in YouTube and subscribe guys if you're watching just subscribe subscribe yeah no harm to do that give me a boost I'm on my way to 300 subscribers help me get there help me get there all right so like I was saying if you would have seen from the title of the video that I've got my Uggs. If you watch my last video, you would have seen when I whispered, oh, I ordered some Uggs. When they come, I'm going to show you. But guys, these Ugg boots, they were £155. And I got them for £80, £80 plus, £82 something. And I will say, if you want to know how I got my Ugg boots from 155 down to 82 pounds, you need to tune into my next video and I'll let you know my secret. So let's get into this. Let me show you what I bought. So I bought some Ugg boots, guys. These are my first Ugg boots. Uggs have been out for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, everybody's had Uggs. Throw away Uggs. Don't wear Uggs no more. But this is my first time buying a pair of Uggs. I always wanted one. But, you know, they're really expensive. And um, it's not that I don't have the money could I buy it, but. It's hard to give out your 155 on one boot, yeah. And it really is this is really um like a frivolous spend, I think, for me. But sometimes you gotta treat yourself. You gotta treat yourself, look after yourself. Nobody gonna love you more than you. Nobody. You understand? Nobody can put the love into you as much as you want more than your own self and let me tell you I'm just learning that it don't it's not nothing I've lived my whole life knowing I'm just learning it here yeah so got me some Uggs so these Uggs are called mini bailey bow they're called mini baileys and they have a velvet bow ribbon okay so i i wear a size eight a uk eight and i bought a nine because i got a broad foot so i bought a nine because i didn't want them to come and they were small in any way and I could have got an eight and a half. The nine's a little bit big, but they, they're all right. They can do once I've got on my thick, thick socks and stuff. So let me show you. 
there. Probably everybody's had these already, Mini Bailey, but I haven't. <laughs> I'm excited. And guys, I'll tell you this, right? I'm unboxing these Uggs, but I've worn them already. I've been wearing them for the last two days. Because, like, I need to tell you how they feel. I need to tell you how they feel. So, and even the paper. I don't know if you can see these. Even the paper says Ugg. Yeah. No paper. And then there's even a little booklet and I think the booklet is telling me about it being waterproof, waterproof features and it's got some weather features like it keeps your feet at 20 degrees Fahrenheit and all that keeps your feet I don't know what that means man and weather and all kind of sitting right so you've got this leaflet that tells you about the Uggs okay so these are how the boots look so like I said, I've worn them already. So I've got black suede, but there's a story. Because I had ordered two boots, but tune into the next video. And then you'll hear my story about Uggs. And these are the back of them. So you've got the nice label, show off <laughs> label there. You've got the nice height label there okay and then a nice little cute velvet bow here yeah and like i said i've been wearing them for the last two days okay folks and i'm not gonna lie right like i might not have wanted to spend 155 pounds sterling on them but ending up spending just 82 pounds it was worth it guys number one it was worth it because I really wanted the Uggs and I know Uggs are expensive but it's something I wanted like how some people just really want uh, um, red bottom shoes or you know a Versace bag or so I really wanted the Uggs, right? And um, guys, I'm not going to lie. I've been wearing them for the last two days. And I'm very happy with the one I pick. And on top of that, they are super duper, whooper, looper comfortable. Oh my God. It's like you don't have nothing on your foot. It's like you don't have nothing on your foot. They're very warm. They're just nice, man. As you can see, there's nothing here, down here. No stitching, no nothing down here to be on your foot. And the, the, the UGG is kind of high, so it's raised off your foot. You know, when your foot's in the shoe kind of thing. Oh, my God. So comfortable. You can have them on your foot and just move your foot around and then on the inside you've got fur here and all of the sole is fur all the way down to the tip you've got fur again yeah and um i've got friends who have uggs obviously everyone's got uggs right only me didn't have none but me have enough <laughs> You can't chat to me like that. Don't call my name. Don't call my name. Yeah. So some of my friends who's got Uggs, they've had it for ages, you know. They've had their Uggs ages. Um, one of my friends was showing me her Uggs. She's got two bows. And uh, 
she's had her Uggs two years. And yeah, they look like she's worn them, but they're still in good, 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 good condition. Yeah. So I'm really happy with these. I, I always wanted one for years. There was a time when I said I would never wear Uggs. Because guess what? I didn't understand. Everybody was wearing Uggs. Everybody was wearing Uggs about, I don't know, about 10 years ago. The whole of England went mad wearing Uggs. But when I check it, they wasn't wearing Uggs. They was wearing fake Uggs. You understand? They weren't wearing real Uggs when everybody was walking around in Ugg-style boots. So, you know, now's the time, man. You know? I love these. I love them. <laughs> I'm in love with them. But I did buy one more boot. I have to tell you. Let me tell you something. I said it and I'm going to say, I'm going to justify. I work hard, guys. I work real hard. I work full time and... I'm going to treat myself. I work hard, guys. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to treat myself. So long as you pay your bills, don't owe nobody nothing. So long as you pay your bills, don't owe nobody nothing. Don't be a burden to nobody. Responsible for yourself. You do what the hell you like with your money and buy what you like. And that's what I did. Because I know that there's going to be some people like, mm -mm. <laughs> I know how people think, yeah, yeah, I work hard for it. Where you work hard for? Make sure you save a little though. Like definitely make sure you have a little pot, save any type of emergency. You might need to leave the country quick or... Me, I have ties in another country. I have ties in Jamaica. I might have to drop everything and boom, go out there. You know, so you have to make sure you have a little money in the bank so that you can move, you understand? And the reason I say that is because I drop in situations where, you know, it's a struggle and it never need to be, you understand? You must know what you're doing, guys. I'm in England now, yeah, and the snow business, I can't deal with the snow, when it snows, yeah, and I'm going to explain snow, and you know I'm going to explain snow, because I have a lot of friends from all over the world, because I was working on cruise ships for 10 years, and I have a lot of friends who work on the cruise ships with me from who live all over the world and a lot of them never seen snow in their life. So I'm going to explain guys, snow is very serious for who don't know <laughs> and I hate it, I hate the snow, I don't like it, I don't like it, it's pretty when it first drops. It's even soft and not so bad. But you see, when that start get hard and crunchy and slippery and dangerous, it's not nice. So, your girl bought herself some snow boots, okay? I bought myself some snow boots. And my snow boots are fly. My snow boots are fire. For my taste, what I like. And I don't just have to wear these in the snow. They're really nice. <laughs> I love them. So I'm going to show you them. They're made by a company, Sorrel. But I did actually buy them from a website, I believe, called Coatswold. But what I will do, I will leave the website link in the description. And if you're interested to go look, they've got all different type of boots, okay? They're not cheap, but very well made, man. 
I love these boots and they're different as much as I love the Uggs everybody got Uggs but everybody I got this boot they're really nice I'm going to show you these boots and it's a matter of taste everybody got different tastes you might not even like them but these are my boots guys these are my snow boots yeah black again but these are my snow boots these are my snow boots yeah and i'm telling you this these boots, yeah, I love them. Miss Amelia loves them. These boots, yeah, are so well made. They're so strong, guys. I haven't worn these boots. These I have not worn. I've tried them on, of course, but I have not worn them yet. Because I'm not just going to wait for snow to wear my boots. I did pay £125 for these. But I'm going to have them for years. They cannot done. All of this, it cannot done. They're so nice. Right? They've got fur inside. Very warm. But the fur doesn't go all the way down. You can see where the fur stops here. Okay? But... The material is like fleece. The material is like fleece material. Very, very warm. Very, very nice. Yeah. Um, again, I went a size bigger than my eight and I bought a nine. And I have to be honest, good job I bought the nine because they're not a real nine. They are an eight. Yeah, so they fit me okay. Um... They're not as loose as the Ugg boot, you know. These are like on your foot, but they fit nice. Fit nice, they're comfortable. Again, all high up here, nothing stitching down here. Uncomfortable on your foot. I love these. But you know when I love pandies, you want to see? You know what I love on these, guys. You know what I love on these? this I love this look at the soul of these huh? I love it <laughs> that just looks bomb everything is black and then boom boom oh, yeah you know when you walk in hmm? I love it so probably nobody's even heard of this brand i've never heard of them i took a chance and it paid off love these boots because i'm not going to be buying another pair next year or maybe not even the year after that these are more for snow boots and when out there's really horrible and they're waterproof guys they're waterproof yeah i don't know how waterproof up here is gonna be but the water shouldn't be really even higher than here. So, yeah. And them is my boots. And these are what me buy. These are what I treated myself to. And I'm very happy with them. Very, very happy. And I've got my Ugg boots. I ordered them from Uggs UK. I'll leave the link down as well but you can even just google it you don't even need me to leave the link but i will leave the link okay so there you have it yep yes guys very very happy with these products so like i said if you want to see how i got 155 pound of boots at 85 pound you need to tune into my next video all right so please again subscribe like share i'd be very grateful thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video hmm.
There's a new variant busting out right there, right now. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Until we meet again. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.